Okay, I want to look at an example problem on the first one. Write an equation of a line parallel to y equals 5x minus 2 through the point negative 3, 4. Now this is what we did in the last lesson. So y equals blank x plus blank. So that's m, that's b. So I got to find what m and b are, and that's my answer. m is the slope, b is the y-intercept. Okay, now look at the equation they gave you. That's a given equation. m and b, ditch your b. So if this equation, if this is parallel to this, we need the same m that we have there. Okay, and then the y-intercept, y equals m times x plus b. So m is 5, and then 4 replaces the y, negative 3 replaces the x. So you got 4, drop your plus, put b in front. 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. Then add 15. 19 equals b. Now look, that would have started at negative 2, and I'd go up 5, forward 1. That would start at 19, but I'd go up all, all the way at 19, I'd go up 5, forward 1. Now we don't graph them, but yeah. Okay, now the next part. Again, before I get to the examples, okay, we need to look at some things. Now I want to graph these two on the same plane. Y equals negative 1 half X plus 4 along with y equals 2x minus 2. Okay, so the y is by itself, so mb, so I go up, so slope, y int. So slope's negative 1 over 2, and then plus 4 is your y-intercept. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and then I go forward 2, down 1. Or down 1, forward 2, doesn't matter. These lines are not going to be parallel, but... Okay. MB. Slope. Y. So the slope's 2 over 1, and then minus 2 is your y-intercept. So I go down to minus 2, and from there I go forward 1, up 2. Now, these are not parallel. The slopes were not the same, so they cannot be parallel. Here's what happens though, okay. That's cr that looks like crap, okay. That that those lines I drew, okay. These form a 90 degree angle. I know it doesn't look like it because I'm a horrible line drawer, but they cross at a 90 degree angle. That means they're perpendicular. They're not parallel, they're perpendicular. Perpendicular. There's a reason why they're perpendicular. Compare your slopes. They're not the same, but I want you to look at them. That's 1 over 2. That's 2 over 1. That's negative. That's positive. Okay? They are, the ratio has been flipped, and then one's negative, one's positive. Okay? I'm going to do another one. Hopefully I can get, get the graph to look better. Okay? So it actually looks like a 90 degree angle. Y equals 2 thirds X minus 1 and y equals negative 3 over 2x plus 2. Same point. Okay, so mb so the slope is 2 thirds y-intercept is negative 1. So on the y-axis I go to negative 1 then I go up to forward 3. Up two, forward three. Okay, so take a ruler and make that. Okay.
Okay, next one. Cap so MB so slope Y M so slope's negative three over two, the Y intercept's positive two. So I go down three, forward two. Okay, that's going to look a lot better. Okay. Sorry about the random awkwardness. Okay. Again, that still doesn't look very good, but rest assured they do cross, but they cross at a 90 degree angle. Okay. Means it's perpendicular, because if you compare your slopes, okay, they're just uh, they're just flipped. Okay, one's positive, one's negative. Now, in order to understand what you're doing here, okay, find the reciprocal of the following numbers and make them opposite. So, I want you to write 4 down. First off, 4 has to be a fraction to flip it. So, you put a 1 under, then you flip it to 1 fourth. That was positive, this is negative. This is a skill you have to do to deal with perpendicular lines. 3 fifths. Well, that can be flipped right away to 5 over 3. That's positive. This is negative. Okay, negative 5 over 6. Okay, what you do with the negative, you need to just keep the negative on top. Negative does not go to the bottom, so that'll be negative 6 over 5. Well, actually, no, because the negative is going to go away. If that's negative, this is going to be positive. Excuse me, sorry about that. 8. Well, there has to be a fraction to flip, so you put a 1, 1 over 8. Now, if I had positive, this is negative. Okay, 2 over 3. Well, make it 3 over 2, positive, negative. Okay, 1 over 6. Well, you're going to go 6 over 1. That's positive. This is negative. Then 4 fifths. Flip it to 5 over 4. This is positive. It's negative. If this is negative over here, we go positive with that. Okay, now finally we're going to do some examples. Okay, write an equation slope-intercept form of a line that passes through the given point and is perpendicular, not parallel, perpendicular to the graph of the given equation. Okay, so perpendicular to the equation y equals negative 3x plus 2 through negative 2, 3. So that's still x, y. And I'm still lining it up with y equals blank x plus blank mx plus b. So mb slope y-intercept. Okay, here's the MB in the equation. We don't care about the B. Now, I do not use the same slope. It's not parallel. It's perpendicular. You need to make that into a fraction, put a 1 under it, and then you're going to flip it to 1 over 3. Then come back and look here. If that's negative, ours needs to be positive. So, 1 third is my M. So, Y equals M times X plus B. So my M is one third, and then the Y is replaced with three, the X with negative two. So times negative two. Or, wait a second, I do that right. I got the wrong point, sorry, it's negative six, two. Negative six, two. So we'll try that again. Don't want to restart the video, so I had the wrong coordinate. Okay. All right, so the Y is 2. The M is still 1 third. The Y is 2, and then the X is going to be negative 6. So line up your plus with B. So 
so one third times negative six. It's going to be negative two. Okay, you just add two, you got your answer. Four equals B. Okay, there's the answer. Sorry about messing that up. Okay, next one. Perpendicular to Y equals one half X minus one through the coordinate negative two, three. So that's a, that's a solution then, X, Y. So Y equals blank X plus blank M, B. So M is the slope, B is the Y intercept. Okay, the slope, we look at the given equation, okay? M, B, we get rid of the B, we don't use that for anything. My B is too different than what that, I have no use for that. Okay, it's not parallel, it's perpendicular, so you need to flip that to 2 over 1. And if that's positive, then mine has to be negative. Now, you can put the negative 2 over 1 up there, or you can forget. You, if you have a 1 on the bottom, it has to be a 1, but if you have a 1 on the bottom, you can ditch it. You can't ditch a 1 on the top, but on bottom, you can. Just use negative 2. So, y equals m times x plus b. If you want to keep it negative 2 over 1, do it. Okay. Okay, so y is 3, and then times negative 2. Line up your plus, you put B in front, and then you get positive 4. Then you subtract 4, and negative 1 equals B. Okay. Problem solved. Okay, perpendicular to Y equals 5X plus 4 through negative 10, 3. Okay, y equals blank x plus blank, so mb. Okay, to find my slope, I look at that equation. I got my m, got my b. I don't need the b, though. Again, you can't just put 5. It's perpendicular, so you make that into a fraction by putting a 1 and then flip it to 1 over 5. And if that's positive, mine's negative, okay? Okay. So, negative one-fifth, and then y equals m times x plus b. Okay, so my m is negative one-fifth, okay? y and x, 3 replaces the y, and then negative 10 replaces the x. So, line up your b, and then you have to find the product by multiplying negative one-fifth Times negative 10, that's 2. Now minus your 2. 3 minus 2 is 1. 1 equals B. Okay. So Y equals negative 1 fifth X plus 1. Okay. Next one. This is going to be a pain in the butt, this one here. Perpendicular. Two x minus two y equals four through one negative six. You got a little problem here. M B. Okay. You're gonna go make that wall and realize y is not by itself. So write the equation. Just copy it down. Make the wall on the y side, dot circle. You can't have a negative y multiplier, so you need to go negative, put a 1, positive, and negative. So you're going to add 1x, make a 0x over here, add 1x. So you have 2 times y, and that's going to be 1x plus negative 4. And divide by 2. Then I get y equals, 1 divided by 2 is a decimal, so you keep it 1 over 2x, and then negative 4 divided by 2 is negative 2. Now the y is by itself, so you got your m and b, but you don't care about the b. You care about your m. On perpendicular, you flip that to 2 over 1, 
And since this is positive, mine has to be negative. Now, you could put negative 2 over 1 up there. I would personally, if I had a 1 on the bottom, I would get rid of it and just use negative 2. It has to be a 1. It has to be on bottom. And the same thing to find B. So your M's negative 2. Y and X. Well, that's negative 6 for Y, 1 for X. Okay. Circle, you don't replace the B. So negative 6, I drop the plus, I put B in front. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Get your negative 2 to a 0 by adding 2. Negative 4 equals B. Okay. There's your equation. I don't think that I was mean on the assignment. So yeah. Okay, I got 2 on the back. perpendicular to y equals negative 3, or excuse me, y equals 1 fifth x plus 3 through the coordinate 10, negative 3. That just means that this is a solution for my equation I'm about to write. Okay, So y equals blank x plus blank m b. M is the slope, B is the y-intercept. So we look at the given equation, okay? M, B, get rid of that 3, okay? You don't need that for anything. Perpendicular, you need to flip the slope to 5 over 1. And if we have positive, well, we need negative over here. They have to be the opposite. Okay, if you have a 1 on bottom, you can discard it and put negative 5. So y equals m times x plus b, because negative 5 over 1 is equivalent to negative 5. There's no sense in dealing with a fraction over here if we don't have to. So negative 5 replaces the m, then negative 3 for y, and then the x times 10. Drop your plus down. Wait a second, let me do that right. Yes, I did. Okay. It's going to be a big answer. It's going to be negative 50, then we're going to add 50, and that's 47. Yeah, that's right, okay. Looks weird. Okay, y equals 2 fifths x plus 3 through... Negative 6, 5. Here's how you can verify. If you get something like that, here's how you can check your answer. You can take negative 5, hit times, but instead of x, you're going to put in 10, then add 47. When you click equals, if it's negative 3, it's right. It's right. Okay. Y equals blank x plus blank, so M, B. M is the slope. B is the y-intercept. Okay, well, what do we have for a slope here? MB, so slope 5 over 2. Well, I need to make it 5, 2 over 5. I need to make mine 5 over 2. And if we have positive here, we have negative here. If we have negative here, we have positive here. Okay, you can't get rid of the bottom. It's not a 1, so we keep it negative 5 over 2. So y equals m times x plus b. So m is negative 5 over 2. And then I replace my y with 5, and then my x with negative 6. Okay, so I take negative 5, abc2 times negative 6, that's 15. Okay. Uh, minus 15, that's negative 10. Okay, if you're having second doubts about your answer, you can always check it. You can go negative 5 ABC2 times and replace your X with negative 6 before we add the negative 10. And if it comes out as 5, I did it right. <laughs>